So I want to talk about the seven dwarves because there's seven people in this band. But I want to kind of go and maybe you guys can all say who's who. So I want to start off with Grumpy. Who's who's the Grumpy in this group? Ah, Kevin. Kevin. It's rough because it could be Kevin, but it's not Grumpy. It's just straightforward, really blunt. hard, blunt love. Like it's Grumpy. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is, but he'll tell you, like, <laughs> that sounds like utter trash. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, guess, you need that person, yeah, though. Like, everyone's going to gas you Kevin. up, and Kevin will be straight up like, nah, that's not it. Nah. And uh, and we all can rely yeah. on that. I would rather well, have I, that. I love that. Thank who's, you. Uh, who's happy in the group? Who's the happiest person in the group? Daniel. <laughs> to this guy. He's like <laughs> smiling, dog. Like, Daniel. Uh, that's he's like no the Sammy Davis Jr. of the Rat Pack. He's always like, <laughs> oh, like smile. smile. Yeah. You got to smile, bro. That's it, man. That's Definitely. the only thing I got going for me. My mom said I got to use that smile. So that's what I do every day. You, you do that. Like, <laughs> you have a nice smile. <laughs> hey, I ain't going to lie. Like the 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 photos that I've seen of you guys, my my attention always goes to like your smile, bro. Oh, yeah, you have a here nice we go. <laughs> I told you, Colton. <laughs> well, who's bashful? Who's like who's the shy one in the group? Uh, I think John, John. for sure. Yeah, John. John's sure, bashful. John. John, John's always quiet on himself, for but sure, he's like though, the yeah. human metronome powerhouse, dude. Like I can't play guitar without this guy playing the rhythm. Like watch your pockets. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> Flying. He just yeah, like Doc. leads the shit. Who's Doc? Doc I is. think, no, I definitely think that would be Chris. Yeah. That would definitely be Chris. Actually, I had a conversation with Chris that I have to bring up after the interview at band practice that was really smart. And it was pretty much like, yo, you know, uh, when we go to the studio, uh, a subject got brought up by Jason. He's like, because we're going to go to the studio and record one song. Jason was like, can you guys do three? And I'm like, whoa, three songs in three days? We, we possibly could. We could definitely do two. And Chris brought up, like, why don't we bring back an old song and restructure it? And that is pretty much like some some leader doc shit uh, that I didn't even bring up to the band yet. But yeah, that Chris definitely is, is doc. Sure. He's the freshest band so. member too, so it's nice that he's like outside looking in. Like, and he has the dude. Look at that shit. He has the dopest uh, mustache. He looks like, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Hulk Hogan, bro. <laughs> he has fucking <laughs> <laughs> definitely dog is Chris. Uh, is there a sleepy in the group? Fucking <laughs> yeah, dude. This That's guy big. falls asleep at band practice. He'll be late. He'll be no lie. He will lay down and play bass. I'm not I'm not bullshitting you. I think we have videos and pictures. He was like lay down. He every every practice he has uh, a bang and a, a mango modello. Yeah. I'm not lying. The weirdest couple. Uh, is there a sneezy in here? Anybody got allergies? He's always sick. Yeah. Oh. You know what? No, no, no. I don't think there's there is. There is no sneezy. Nah, if there's like a. It's Johnny messing up his throat. Yeah, <laughs> unless I get fucking sick. Rain, yeah. and cold, rain and cold weather. And uh, who's the who's the dopey in the group? Victor. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I it's gotta be Johnny. Nope. It's gotta be Johnny because he just yeah, doesn't yeah, believe. Yeah. He's not, he doesn't believe. <laughs> That would for sure be me, Johnny. I guess. Yeah, there's no fucking way. I mean, I'm telling you, man, you got something special, man. These guys all see it. They all hear it. They all know it, man. You got to believe, man. You got to believe. Uh, just what keeps you guys motivated? What's, like, the drive right now? Like, when you guys are grinding in the studio, like, what are you guys thinking in your mind? Like, we just got to put out that next song. I just can't wait to this concert. Like, what? what's what's uh, what's going in your mind? What's keeping you driven on the on the music? I think right now, like, we, we want to travel, man. That's what our main focus is. Like, we want to we wanna see the world, you know, for as cheap as possible, shit. If we can go, <laughs> we can go see it on somebody else's time, that's to sign us up, you know? But, uh, but that, man, we want to go visit our, our, our family that we we've been meeting on Instagram and actually see them live you know once once this COVID shit is done but uh that's the goal for us I think right now and that's what uh Colton keeps putting in our brain now and you know the that's how the 45 started was a little idea last year and now we're at this point and so we just we're just gonna keep writing it you know and Hopefully it leads to to that stuff, man. So that's the, that's the goal. <laughs> Shout out to Mango Hill Records too, because like COVID, horrible, horrible situation, but blessing and a curse. Like we had been, we had just been gigging bar gigs, gig, 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 get this half hour set, get this. And we haven't sat down and wrote. 
And throughout all this, you know, now we have a direct link to a studio with amazing producer, amazing record label. So I think the drive between traveling and getting the LP out for everybody, like it's kind of hard, you know, we're going back to the old method of like three singles of a 45 and then the LP. Of, but I think, you know, we're really excited to get a full length album that you can play front to back, kicking it with your family, kicking it at the barbecue, the soul crowd, the reggae crowd people who don't even listen to our type of music. Like, I think that's another big driving force. We're all really excited to get this LP out on Mango Hill Records in the next year or so. You know, we got song stacking coming out with our, ne our for, uh, second and third 45. So that's going to be the next thing in the pipeline is LP. Yeah, that would be awesome. I cannot wait for that. Um, yeah, I mean, so all the songs that I've heard, like I mentioned, I mean, they're just fire, you know? And I'm just excited for what's coming up down the pipe. and. We all know who you're working with. Uh, we, we hear the vocals, we hear the good sound. I mean, it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be something that's very special. I, and I, I believe in you guys. Like I definitely, I'm a believer right now. So uh, I'm excited for uh, future, future music for sure. This next song is called Don't Cry.
I got a major fun fact for you guys. So I've never had, I've never had a beer in my life. Oh. I've Listen. never smoked weed in my life. Oh. No way. No drugs, no nothing, like straight oh. edge, like. I only, like, if I drink coffee, I'll drink, like, four ounce black, and I'm, like, I'm on two. I'm through the roof. But, like, Rockstar, like, you know my, my weakness, bro? My weakness is fucking hot Cheetos, bro. I, I like, I can't. Dude, I can't, bro. This I can't guy go to the liquor store. If I go to the liquor store, I'm, like, fucking sweating bullets, bro. Like, I'm, like, oh, I, and I won't even, and I know they fuck me up. And I'll, I'll like buy them and I won't even eat them, bro. Like I'll just buy them just so. <laughs> just to have on like in case of emergency. Break. Yeah. Like, like I'll put that shit behind glass, bro. Like if I need this shit, I'll, I'll, I'll use it.